This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're doing well. well that gave me very little space to cut that episode. <laughs> It might have sounded organic to you guys. Uh, Matt uh, gave Luke about a quarter of a second there. <laughs> no, I don't think there was a quarter of a second. I'm going to have to cut before where I would want to cut, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we can just we can stay silent for just a second. But we can't because we've already started. <laughs> we can't get we can't just discard all of this delicious like this is, you know, yeah. This is quality tape right here. Yeah. This is gold. We can't just throw it away. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> all of our episodes are the extended edition with bloopers. And yeah. all the deleted this, scenes every left in. episode is the director's cut of Level Zero NPCs. <laughs> the other day recording Jedi, uh, like, it was one of our most faltering starts ever. And we finally... <laughs> fucked up the start so bad we had to start over because like <laughs> i made a joke about quitting the show forever <laughs> because of how bad the episode had started but matt misunderstood me and stopped the recording so it was just all anyway was so it was it was, yeah. it was kind of an awesome moment but sadly it was like technologically destroyed as well as I, like i was so tired I, <laughs> but i made it we did it. That's true. That's true. Anyway. You won't hear that bit, but you will hear Matt being tired for the entirety of uh, Jedi Knight Academy's, like, fifth and... Eh, fourth and fifth episodes, I want to say. Maybe sixth and seventh. It's got to be fourth and fifth, though. Who knows? I don't think we're that... I don't think we have that much of a backlog. Who knows? You know, it's Jedi Knight Academy. Who does? You know? Indeed. We know it actually isn't Jedi Knight. It's Star Wars Jedi Knight colon Jedi Academy. What the fuck? Yeah, the it is. Luke was a trying whole to a lot of trademark symbols on it as well. Yeah, Luke was trying to break down the naming structure of those games. That is the most recent oh one, I believe. Oh my god! Yeah, yes. Like this is the wrong series to be doing it. Um, no, that's the level the zero naming experience. Structure, Go on. Yes. The naming structure of the Star Wars Jedi Knight series of video games is dumb. It's fucking it unhinged. Is ridiculous. It is it is Kingdom Hearts level stupid. Uh, because it starts with uh, Star Wars Dark Forces. That is the first Jedi Knight game. Uh, God, I gotta go over and hold on. I'm going to alt tab out here so the screen's going to go black for a moment. I'm going to go back to our uh... Oh no, and I just launched Adobe Premiere. Hopefully, yeah, no, you're going to see that happening on screen too. It's going to be great. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, yeah, this is good. No, yeah, it's good cool. content. Good. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna I'm just going like, to grab I'm, minimize that. Get back on my phone real Matt's quick. That's going to go get a drink. Yeah, yeah. no, that's cool. <laughs> I knew about this, but I didn't think to be outraged by it until Luke pointed out how stupid it was. It it, it is very stupid. Very dumb. Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll just read verbatim what I wrote to the team here. Uh, it's, I'm reading up on the Jedi Knight series for my video description, and I'm unreasonably upset about how the way they numbered their games. This series is truly only defeated by Xbox and Kingdom Hearts for me, incapable of naming games with a straightforward numbering convention. It goes in the order of Star Wars Dark Forces... Then Star Wars Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2. <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. And Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. I apologize to Final Fantasy for mocking Final Fantasy X 2. This series just adds sequel designations to different parts of its subtitling and calls it a day. Oh my god. <laughs> There was even a second game in the Jedi Knight series that wasn't called Jedi Knight 2. Jedi Knight 2 was the third Jedi Knight game and the fourth in the series that started with Dark Forces. 
<laughs> it's 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 amazing how they changed the format every time. <laughs> like every, every time, time they change something about the format and they just scatter gun to numbers in and around the name. Yeah. They have more commitment anxiety than Street Fighter did. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm a fan of the uh, Divinity Original Sin 2, and the name Divinity Original Sin 2 has always rankled me, because just put a different thing after the colon. Yeah. Call it Divinity something else. Divinity Original Sin, then Divinity something else. Or Divinity I 2, get... colon, something. <laughs> well, because Divinity Original Sin... It's like the fourth or fifth game in the Divinity series, which started also with Divine Divinity. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, I, it's I, also stupid. I, 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 I was I was actually it's naming conventions. apparently undereducated on the history of that series. I thought it was only the two. Yeah. So it is the sequel to Divinity Original Sin, which is like the fourth or fifth game in the Divinity series. Uh, the, like, I mean... I work in video games. Naming video games is hard. Once you got a series started, just fucking name them in chronological order. Just add a number to the end. That's not a problem uh, for Sierra games, which is one we're playing right now. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, they just number them. They just they manage just, it. They just they just number them. That's all they do. In one case, they skipped a number yeah, and made a joke about it. Joke. But I mean, yeah. like, until somebody else picked it up and ran with it. And then they fucked it all up by adding not numbers, but other subtitles to it. Yeah. Remember? Uh... And I mean, you know, whatever. Good job, Crazy Bunch. You did fine. And also, like, after Vivendi bought it, also a bunch of shit added to it. But like. Yeah, Leisure Suit Larry Magna Cum Lauda should have been Leisure Suit Larry 8. You know? And box office bust for the trash fire that it was was should have been Leisure Suit Larry 9. And then fucking... What is it? Wet Dreams Don't Dry? Should have been 10. <laughs> and Wet Dreams Dry Twice, I think, is the most recent one. Should be... Leisure Suit Larry 11. On any given week, Matt and I give Luke so many things to be angry about. It's just really funny the things that he chooses to be angry that about. I actually choose to be <laughs> annoyed by? Yeah. It's great. Sometimes, I, you know, I've had one of those kinds of weeks where I'm ready to let some of the pressure valve open up, you know? You do, you do it so rarely. You're usually the rock. I do. You know, I you go, let it yeah. out. I did go. I'm ready to play the game again. No, you. no. If, if you if you had more, we'd listen. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I might. You know, it may happen. Like the the Jedi Knight thing was definitely not planned. <laughs> that's so lo that's so lovely. I'm wondering if Matt's just still looking at his at his phone. Screen. I'm not. I'm here. Okay, because there's text on the screen. I can't. I, g I can only see a gray screen. You don't see a gray screen, really? Yeah, stuff messed up. Uh oh. <laughs> right, oh yeah, gotta, no. If I'm supposed to be reacting to a visual here. thing, I'm not uh, seeing oh, it. Oh yeah, stand by. Well, let me just make sure that it's not. Okay, no, it looks like uh, it looks like OBS is still recording. So oh yeah, there okay, we go. there we go. We're back. Oh, is it fine now? It's All right. Oh, yeah. on. Hold on, it's gonna go black for another second here. Um, okay. So you can see. Yeah. No. See, yeah, I was I was paying attention. No, it's good. It's good. I was paying attention. Oh, that's. I'm, I'm surprised that, that you were paying attention and you're okay with a gray screen, but. Uh, that's that's why uh, Matt and I might have seemed a little spacey there. Is that we didn't realize that you were back uh, in the I, game. I yet. assumed it was all yeah. part of your plan. It's your faithful... professionals. Yeah. <laughs> it's, all you... it's your faithful Indian companion, Srini, hard at work getting the store ready for its grand reopening. Someday soon. Uh, the yeah, Indian versus native thing uh, reminds me of Matt's favorite interview question <laughs> when we were at Silverback. <laughs> because uh, he'd be in the same room with our friend and colleague, Earshot. Yes. And he'd turn to the new recruit <laughs> and say, who's the real Indian? Who <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just really fun to watch white people try to answer that question. Yeah. Yeah. It's a trap. <laughs> It's a trap question. It's actually a really good interview question. Because A, I it mean, really weeds out the people that <laughs> probably shouldn't be working with us. A, a little bit of panic is okay. Yes, that's fine. Um, some uh, I'd have Once or twice we got answers that were maybe a little too confident. Yeah. You know? We we never learned nothing from the question. Yeah, it was always it was always <laughs> important. Yeah. I would have to ask some qualifying questions. Ooh, that's good. But I think I could answer that we one. We never got a lot of qualifying questions, not a lot of follow-ups. You know? Really? Yeah. And just just panic or like pan- something a little panic too Panic and then an answer. Too ready. And it's like, okay. And su- surprisingly few abstained from answering the question. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Almost everyone did give us an answer in the end. Like very few people were like, I don't know how to answer that. Or... Uh, I, as a Caucasian person, do not feel that I should answer that question. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, we didn't even get any of those. That's weird, eh? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. They stopped asking me to do yeah, interviews after that. <laughs> <laughs> those are the days. All right. Uh, what are we doing now? Now that we've done all that. Well, yeah, yeah. I was going to talk to Trini for a second here. Srini! Dude. Everything, uh... Going okay in here? What is it looking like? I am having everything under control. You have merely to go be a hero, and I will continue holding up the fort. This is very... This is very Fisher Stevens in short circuit. And... It it very (laughs) much is, yeah. Yeah. Mind the store, Srini. I'm off to uphold justice and stuff. Okay, the dokey. And I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not... I I don't know if it was... Um... Fuck, what was it? Master of None? <laughs> uh... You know the show I'm talking about, where uh, where it was it was like a uh, a bunch of of like Indian dudes in America, like super surprised that like Fisher Stevens was actually a white yes, guy. Yeah, I think that was Master of None. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was great fucking bit. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was uh, Aziz Ansari who was like grew up yes. being like just idolizing. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Holy cow, you ain't never seen such a long line at the outhouse. Now see, I know the old prospector Coot is supposed to be narrating this whole thing, but I refuse. When he appears on screen, I'll do his voice. I just want to make that clear to everybody who's been watching this and going, yeah, so like, that guy is the narrator all the way through. And I'm like, I know. Well, he's not, though. In the talkie version, there's there's a, a different voice. He only shows up for the, like, um, for the little story bits where his face shows Does he? Up. Yeah, yeah. There's a different narrator voice. I'm out. Similar in, I think, I don't know if it's the same guy, but very similar to the Leisure Suit Larry talkie. Leisure guy. Suit Larry. I don't think anyone could really complain about your voice acting here, Matt, because there are plenty of games where... You'll you'll forfeit a voice now and then. <laughs> you'll just you'll just see a character pop up and you'll just drop them right I, on the discard. Pile. I, I I've been yeah like it's not like all of Quest for Glory, the last three. I'm not proud of. <laughs> By that point. Oh, they were great. Like they like you had a really like we'd talk to a new person and I would have this moment of dread. <laughs> I'm I'm really playing this one straight though. I think I needed to do that after question. No, I appreciate Larry. that. I appreciate yeah. that. Everyone's got a pee. How long can she hold it? Not long. She keeps bouncing like that. This one appears to be practicing the jitterbug. You haven't seen uh this long a line at the outhouse since the day that mom served her famous chicken sushi with egg tartare. Because of the the food poisoning and whatnot. I've never thought of this before, but 
I completely forget about the movie Short Circuit until Matt mentions it once every three years. <laughs> once every three years or so, it comes time for Matt to mention the Short Circuit series. And I'll be like, oh yeah, Short Circuit. And I'll remember watching them as a kid and feeling like really distressed as the robot gets all smashed up by those thugs, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then the, the memory just goes away. It just goes away until Matt summons it again in another three yeah. years. Yeah, see, you're thinking of Short Circuit it too. Away. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think it is one of those movies that I have only seen the second one. Yeah. It's that in a Dragon Heart, I think. It's okay. Short Circuit 2 was way more of like a, like weirdly a kid's movie, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, they realized, I think, after the first one how much more of a kids show it was or a kids movie yeah, it was yeah. than they had planned for the first one to be. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, first uh, one's a lot more of it's playing a lot straighter. And the second one had Los Locos. Like I, I it's because I'm I was born in eighty nine, right? So a lot of stuff from like the eighties or early nineties I only know from their like nineties remakes and sequels and direct to T V shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Los Locos kick your ass. Los Locos kick your face. Los Locos kick your balls into outer space. To this day, to this never day. forgot. Never forget. It's always there. Yeah. It's like it's like a uh, the game from our high school days and or modern TikTok. Um where if you think about it you lose. It's like that like I don't think about oh, Short Circuit for game. so long, and then Matt will bring it up. I'm like, fuck, I had such a good run going. I'm not thinking about Short Circuit. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Water's running from the spigot. I say our high school days as if I went to high school at the same time as these guys. Yeah, sure not. you did. You fill one of them empty beer bottles with water from the water tower. You went to high school between uh, 93 and 96, right? <laughs> Just like me? In in that I was class of 07, yes. <laughs> oh! Wah! Wah! I was class of 99. There was one year of overlap between me and, and Matt in high school. But it's uh, high school is four years in California, so. Class of 07 is something quite fun to say to someone who just, just turned 45. Yeah, no, it's, it hurts. It's hurtful. It's hurtful. I had a, bi- I, hurtful. I had a baby the next year. <laughs> <laughs> My, <laughs> yeah, I had a baby. Oh, oh, a right. whole child. <laughs> Doug McCarkus. Town's lone grave digger performs his sad, solitary task at Grave. Doug McCarkus. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Doug McCarkus. <laughs> if you yeah. listen close, you can hear him muttering some, something about the union rules, but you know. Doug McCarkus. Hey, Doug, you big lug. How's it going? Doug shrugs. I see. I'm going to tell you something. If my life depended on digging a grave, like a six foot deep grave, I don't know if I'm tough enough to make that happen. I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> if you just handed me a shovel and pointed at a patch of ground and said, make that a grave. I, like, I don't like I'm ashamed to say it. Uh, like no. my my immediate ancestors, my father and his brothers would be so embarrassed to know that. But. I just I don't know if I could do it. I think you would. I've seen you. I've seen you uh, chop wood. You saw me chop one log, and it took everything <laughs> that I had. But that's more than we had. It was a significant amount of log, but it was one. <laughs> Your small intestine begins to whine after drinking that water. Your lower intestine starts complaining loudly. Uh oh. What's going on with the water supply? Hey, buddy, no cutting. It's people like you that give people like you a bad name. Bottle him. 
Wow, you just cut. Howdy, Mr. Farkas. I was just leaving, I swear. Give me one more minute. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, Billy, no need to get up. Just move over a little. <laughs> Jeez, Mr. Farkas, invade my personal space, well, don't you? A few moments later, you emerge feeling refreshed. Gee, that water's got a nasty kick to it. Just imagine shitting through someone else's legs. I don't have to. <laughs> I would prefer not to imagine that. Hey, I was in my 20s once. I'm going to decline that prompt. <laughs> it was in the 90s, too. You know? Nice. Just saying. Just saying. I feel like the worst worst position would definitely be the shitty in that particular situation. I went to I went to raves, you know? <laughs> okay. I've been to a rave. Yeah, you know? Alright. You don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I wish you hadn't brought up the shit in between someone's legs thing. That's Matt's got undergone a curious inversion where he's really uh <laughs> sort of regulated during all the dialogue and really strange outside <laughs> of all the dialogue. <laughs> Wee! It's my birthday! Cedric the Owl looks lost and out of place in the hot desert sun. If you listen close, you can almost hear him say, Freddy, if you're going to go in there, I'm going to wait out here. <laughs> nice, nice. You got it in the I end. I got it in the end. I was doing, I was doing, I, I got there. He always has some flimsy excuse. A few buzzards have landed here waiting for some unfortunate life form to become Vulture Chow. In quotes. What's going on here? Hey! You! I'm waiting here! It's too dangerous! Oh, <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Apparently there's some... Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, okay. Apparently there's some adventure out in the desert and the owl's waiting to annoy him when he gets back. <laughs> Scathing. Love it. Uh, those vultures have very red feet, and I thought they were standing on a gory carcass. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they're very red feet. They look like blood red feet. I think they did that on purpose, though, eh? I think they did that. Oh! oh. <laughs> Poor Cedric the Owl. He'll never delay another scene change. Good heavens! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, boy! There's real anger there. I... I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Like the, the the care taken in the in the gobbets of meat clinging to the carcass as they're yanked away. I was wondering when that was gonna happen. Well, there but there it is. There it is. Well There's a lot of fun being made of the King's Quest series in this game. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, how are we doing on time? Uh, we ended the last one a little late, but we're around 25 minutes-ish. That's pretty good. We're just, we're just walking around. Hey, everybody, leave your, uh, Freddy's for Farkas. <laughs> <laughs> your pharmacist. Freddy's for Farkas. <laughs> that, uh, you know, leave your pharmacist. Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. Oh, shit. It's a. It's amazing. Like your birthday is today. You turned forty-five, and you just, just. It's like you like the number ticked over, and just <laughs> like the wrong digit moved. <laughs> I skipped whole twenty whole years. Oh. 
I feel so old. It's been a day, guys. I, you know, I didn't have much sleep last night. You know, I, I got kids. I got, you know, I always, I know that's always my excuse, but they just it, kids will fuck you up. Also true. They take, they take your energy. I love them. They take your energy. They're like little vampires. <laughs> love them. They're like vampires you love. <laughs> love them. No, they were very sweet today. They gave me presents and and they were just wonderful. I, you know, I had a good birthday today, guys, and I'm so glad I got to spend it with y'all. Well, happy 65th birthday, Matt. Hey, you know what? <laughs> happy 65th birthday to me. I made it. I deserve it. Uh, leave your uh, Freddy's for Farkas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We'll get, we'll get to the... We, we need... We gotta cut this off and let Matt go sleep. <laughs> Woo! My daughter has... I, I am delighted that every second episode that we do ends in somebody, like, desperately needing sleep. <laughs> it's just because we're so unhealthy and old. <laughs> it's true. This is why older YouTubers don't last. <laughs> oh, well. We tried our best. Yeah. We'll probably be back. Probably. Note I did not say next week, but we'll probably be back. We might be. Anyway, yeah. Might be. We've had a good run. We're, we've been pretty consistent. We missed one recently, but like... Yeah. You know. The, the important thing is uh, that the future is an indivisible darkness and nothing is promised to you. Stick and stay, everyone. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Bye. I had a great birthday. Congratulations. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. I got some good... Uh, you know, I, I had a good day. It's a good day. What a good day. Stick and stay, everybody. <laughs> Hey, I, I love you. <laughs> love you too, Matt. Yeah, love you, buddy. Happy 65th. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Enjoy your retirement. <laughs> I get the old people's discount.